G'day guys, you know who it is, I'm here, George's River, just filming the introduction right now, I didn't expect much, I was only going for about an hour of fish before the sun would go down, you can already see there, it's, it's pretty much on its way out, been using this lure, it's not a watermelon grub is it, this is a Shimano Biotough flick bait, just stick around and see how this session turned out. But first stop in the session, Let's I tied on a Z-Man Grub 2.5 inch in watermelon red. I'll just keep my volume down so as to not spook the fish. Let's plonk the first cast over there. Yep, yep. Right in, in front, waiting for that tap. You could see it, that was a quick strike. Quick fire, Brembo. Net's behind me, unfortunately. Should we hold? Yep. There we go. Woohoo! Two meter cast? Doesn't get easier than that. Well, not really. Look at the head on that. Point it the other way. Slip into the water, grow bigger. And we'll catch you next time. Wipe that sweat off the brow. Reel on the ground, no good. But she's back in my hand now. Satisfying. Let's get back to the water's edge here. All right, game face is on once again. Glasses back on. Hopping it back towards me. Real slow, nothing, nothing sudden. Little hops. I mean, that one was obviously within the rod tip. Skippity skip. Hopping it back towards me, real slow, nothing, nothing sudden, little hops. I mean, that one was obviously within the rod tip. When you're fishing waters with a lot of overhang, it's okay if things fall from the sky, right? Off the trees, looks really natural. That's why I think any time you just skip it under, there is that chance. Skippity skip, look at that, perfecto. Perfecto crust. You might just get nailed right on the drop. Ooh, not sure, that was a little tappity tap Mr. Brambo. Yeah, look at that, look at, look at that lure. It's just slipped a little bit off the shank and it's all happening all around us. It splashes there, you know, I'm just scanning the water. Okay, that was a, ooh, just almost lost my lure there, guys. A few moments later. Just busted off, guys. No more Z-Man grubs. Well, I've got like one left, but I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna go for this brown color. It's a bit of a flick bait and it's a bit long. I might cut it down. What we're gonna do is we're going to put a hidden weight on so that it doesn't look as long. So that should match, match it quite well. I've just put the hidden weight on. I like that the tail's just flopping in the wind. It looks really, really good. Tie it on now with the uni. <laughs> oh, oh! It's just spat a little tiger. We'll send it back anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll hopefully get a better one using this lure. That was first cast. That was actually first cast. Picked up a prize for that. The clown machine ate my balls. So that was good. Okay, let's see if we can get something else. So I was just basically deciding what technique would work just now. I was thinking, you know what? It's got that nice glide. We can either just keep it moving through the middle of the water column, let things kind of stalk behind it, or we can do a couple of little little twitches. There's a bit of a mullet school there. Just on the left, just on the side of my cast. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a double, double for now. Skinny water, so I don't like doing big erratic actions. But flick baits work very well. So this squidgy biotough flick bait probably would work very well with a a lot of lot of little twitches, keeping it mid column. Brim are a little bit smarter than the flatties. They got a brain on them. Well I yeah, well let's take that back. Don't want to offend any flathead. <laughs> yep. Yep, little twitches. Little twitches. Oh change techniques. Want to lick that black spot on, that's how you know it's a dusky rod on the tail there. Caught his brother. 
Ew. Little flick bait, send him back. Just saying, changing that little flick technique. Just the way that I'm flicking it back now. Du -du 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 -du. The race against time. Walking around. Walking around, guys. Next. Du -du -du -du. Oh. Ah. Oh. So lucky. Yep, not gonna dice it more of that tree there. Gotta move around the corner. Oh, Still looking for that Brembo. Where are they? Maybe around this side. Yep, yep. Oh no! I've just pulled it out of that snag, then the, then the hook gave way. Early a sign of scuff here. I think it's still good enough to cast again. I don't, I don't think it's a game-changing scuff, but we'll see. Just cast it back in there. Yep, 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 yep. Flatty, I think. Man, this lures a slain the little flatties here. Doing a bit of a dance, guys, trying to get the hand around the leader. Woo! <laughs> it's weird when you expect brim underneath snags and a flatty comes out. But I'm not complaining. Always issues with lures hitting in smack bang right on us on the on the grass. Got it free. Leader. Still sweating bullets. That air temperature has gone a bit lower. That's a bit nice. It's more bearable, but the mozzies are probably gonna come out in force shortly. I think I was doing some little yeah, I was doing sideways twitches, keeping it close to the bottom, rod tip down of course. If you want to keep it low, give it a give it a chance to hit the bottom. Well, there's one thing we've discovered today. The flatties love them. Love that, this buy tough. I don't know if you guys are noticing. I'm just basically fishing for flatties like I am for brim. Flicking it underneath snags, giving it a few hops for that reaction bite and just bring it back in. <laughs> this is insane. This is not how you fish for flatties, right? All right, now it seems to be working. You get hit pretty much straight away. Little twitches, three, three to five, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Bup, 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 bup. Let it hit the bottom. Fishing with a little bit of slack. Slack line, that is. On the Georges, you just gotta walk around. See that? Bit of splashing, most likely mullet. But I always have a casting if I can see some commotion. Keep that rod tip down, let it hit the bottom, keep it low. Maybe Mr. Flatty or Mr. Brim will come out for it. Mr. Flatty seems to prefer this lure right now. Yep, 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 yep. Wasn't expecting that. Well, 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 what should I do? It's got me on something. It's got me on something. Big, big run. It's got me on something. It's got me on something. Oh, ooh, ooh, head shakes. Keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. How did it go that hard? What? That's the best flatty all day. Dude, no way, how hard did that one go? My brain is just catching up to my body right now. Just threw it in there and, I, and it must got me under a log. Boom. In conclusion, this Look lure slays the flatties, but where are the Brembos? Out. Looks like we're gonna have to come back and get one next time. If you enjoyed this creek fishing, keep watching this next creek fishing video.